All right. I just talked to Yiska. I guess she wants the the fresh eggs. I took all the eggs that they laid between the time I left and came back over to Cindy's because David refuses to label and monitor them. These two are old, over a month old. I don't think they're going to hatch, but I'm going to candle them tonight the best that I can <laughs> before discarding them. These are about to expire, except for this one. This was uh, April 2nd-ish. Uh, I guess they ate the other ones. I'm not sure what happened to the other ones. I thought that was a crack. The problem is some of these chickens are egg eaters. I'm trying to break them of that habit. <laughs> But there are uh, three or four fertile, I mean, not fertile, um, broody hens. Yeah. Uh, I'm not set up to separate the broody hens from the non-broody hens, but <clears throat> I will be next time. Anyhow, uh, so I'm saving the eggs. I just labeled this new one. I took all the eggs over to Cindy's, and when I got back, there was a new one. So there it is. And uh, she says she has an incubator, so she'll incubate that one. And whatever new ones I get. Like I said, I'll check these tonight. And uh, she, they've been sitting on these, so I'm going to leave them alone. And uh, we'll see what happens. Still haven't found the baby chickens. I found some baby kittens. And some feathers from an old dead chicken. Those look like Mohawk's babies, but they might be the other cat's babies, just Mohawk's feeding them. She's a good mom. I'm not sure whose is whose. But we got kittens. <sighs> Yeah, and I'll basically turn this into a cat house after Yiska comes and gets the chickens. She might get them Friday, Sunday night because I'm leaving Sunday or Saturday morning. <laughs> he's, I call him Pepper, but he's more like salt and pepper, so I'm just calling him Pepper for short. He's jumping up trying to get food off the uh, automatic feeder and it's not working for him. Yeah. <clears throat> so I'll just put cat food in here and... Uh, that way the cats will, um, have food. And I won't have to rely on David to feed them. Rumor has it, he's looking for another place to live, which is fine, because I don't want him anymore. He's worthless. So... Yeah. So, <clears throat> all I got to do is have something. Oh, I forgot those rivets again. All I got to do is have something set up to feed the cats. And um, what I can do is I can put like a metal plate around here and then put some bowls down here. <laughs> or not a plate, but, you know, some um, something to block the food from spraying all over the place. They got... A uh, device um, at Walmart. I have to order it online. That's got where it'll drop the. It'll do this little spinner thing. <laughs> but then it'll the food will drop into a chamber, and then the cats can eat out of the chamber. <sighs> so I'm gonna do that for the chicken or for the cats and the goats. But not the goats right away because I'm getting rid of them. Maybe when I regroup and start over. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, I just don't know what happened to those baby chickens. 
then again, they probably never were born. He never did give me any pictures or evidence that they were born. So it probably was another one of his lies. <clears throat> but... Anyhow... <clears throat> It seems odd that they'd be hatched and out of the nest box and scratching within two days. You know, if you read the text messages, it's like one day they were born, next day they next day they were out here scratching for food. It's like, uh, I don't think they would be doing that the first two days. Maybe I'm wrong. But from what I understand, mama birds usually uh, feed them in the nest the first few days after they're born but i don't know i've never uh i'll have to google that and find out because it's just odd to me <clears throat> that uh they were born just like two days ago and now they're not here anymore and yesterday they were supposedly down here scratching for food so I think probably it was another lie. Anyways, <clears throat> yeah, that's that's another reason why I got to get rid of him. He's a pathological liar. I just can't do it anymore. <clears throat> I'll be so happy to get rid of him. He's such a burden. But anyways, It'll be a whole bunch of dead weight off my shoulders. Now I just got to find homes for all the animals, except the cats. <clears throat> so, <laughs> keep the cats around and keep the mice down. And, um, yeah. <clears throat> all right, I got to get some fence work done that David should have done before it gets too dark keep the ghosts from getting out because they're escape artists okay bye all right let's see how many you got i got done in the last i don't know hour or so one <sighs> two three four five six seven eight these look a little older. I did them last time I was home. So I got eight poles done in the last hour or so. David can't get it done in the last seven years. <clears throat> so this is the second goat yard that was unfinished. The first goat yard is still also unfinished. So I'm almost finished with this. I've got one, two, three, four more poles to do. I'll probably do them tomorrow if it don't rain. <clears throat> then I got to come back and put rocks or something <clears throat> underneath the fence so they can't get up underneath the fence. <clears throat> Right here is where they're getting out, and also right here. <clears throat> oh, and right here. So, I was going to line the whole fence with lick tubs, but I just haven't been able to accumulate that many lick tubs. I'm going to fix that too. <clears throat> But, uh, so I'm just going to have to start collecting rocks and putting them over here because uh, yeah, I just don't have enough lick tubs. <clears throat> I mean, I got to keep the goats in because it's pissing off the neighbors. And David don't care. Only I guess I care. I don't know. Damn it, they're on top of the hay bale. I gotta get that hay ring over here so they won't be up on top of there. See, I gotta put some rocks in there too. <clears throat> I 
All right. So I'm going to take care of that hay issue. And then <clears throat> I'm going to go check the eggs and the chickens. Make sure the chickens are up. All right, bye. Yeah, as usual, David didn't do what he said he would do. First, he moves the goats over to the first yard prematurely. Supposed to wait three weeks. <clears throat> but he moved them over early. Probably because he's hoping to get parasites. I don't know. And then he's going to blame me. Oh, it's all your fault. Everything's my fault. <clears throat> when I'm that one who's actually attentive to them while I'm home. I'm the one doing 90% of the work around here, plus paying 99% of all the bills and expenses. <clears throat> he don't do shit. What? They want food. <clears throat> what, you think you're going to get some food for me? What? All right, so I have one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, and then cry, baby. That's five. And then the weather. <clears throat> I already got Trig a home. <clears throat> Someplace that won't kill her and eat her. She's more of a pet. And unfortunately, I can't take care of her. And David just wanted to put her down. He don't care about you. No, he don't like you. Well, he didn't like you. Until you had a baby. <clears throat> then he was like, oh, now I care about you. Because <sighs> he didn't think she would have children he thought she was worthless <clears throat> he wanted to just put her down and I guess most farmers probably would in that respect he's probably normal <clears throat> but we saved her life she's more of a pet than anything of course all of them are pretty much more than pets because he never milks them anyway so what's the difference right <clears throat> So, uh, he's always like, oh, I want milk goats, milk goats, milk goats, but then he never milks them. It's like, why do we have milk goats that we're never going to milk? It doesn't make sense. <clears throat> and, uh, <clears throat> And then he said he didn't like her because she didn't have a good milk bag. It's like, who cares? You never milk them anyways. Why do you care if they got a good milk bag or not? She's a good mom. That's all that matters. I mean, yeah, if you're going to milk them, then that would be important. But if you're not going to milk them, why do you care? <sighs> So, <clears throat> I'm probably not going to end up selling this property. I don't know. Um, I can't seem to find another property to replace it. Every time I do, somebody else buys it before I get a chance to even look at it. <clears throat> That's the problem with being a truck driver. So, uh, uh, I'll probably just keep it and look for somebody more reliable to help me out around here. Uh, unfortunately, reliable people are slim pickings. Reliable people probably have their own thing going on and also looking for other reliable people. How hard is it 
to move this cage ow, over to the other yard. I mean, look, I'm doing it one-handed. And he can't even handle it. You know? This is my biggest problem. <clears throat> it's not even so much stuff that I ask him to do that he refuses to do. It's stuff that he volunteers to do that he doesn't actually do. He says, oh, yeah, I'll do it. I can do this. I could do that. I do this. I do that. I'm good at this. I'm good at that. <clears throat> I'll, you know, he makes all these empty promises. And, uh, if he just follow through with some of the things, he didn't have to even follow through with all the things he said he could, would, should, or will do. <clears throat> But he doesn't hardly do jack crap around here. I end up having to come home and do it, just like the south fence line. He talked about doing that for seven years and never did it. I ended up having to do it. What the fuck? Oh, I thought it was a dead goat. Freak me out. Okay. There, now they won't climb up on top of it. I don't know how she got on top of it anyways. All this wasted hay. <sighs> David doesn't care. He didn't pay for it. He won't pay for it. If I say you need to buy the next bell, he'd be like, fuck that. <clears throat> he'd rather just let him out to eat the neighbor's hay. Because he's a freeloader. Freeloader. He's a free freeloader. Yeah. Anyways, now it looks like dog poop, but I didn't see any dogs come up on the trail cam. Of course, I never see David come up on the trail cam either. It's right there. And that's how I know David never comes back here. <clears throat> he can lie all he wants. Because I got the evidence right there. Yeah. What's up with that? Pat the... Cry, baby. Cry, baby. Kikos. 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 <laughs> They're funny. <laughs> anyway. I can't wait to get rid of David. Rumor has it he's looking for another place to live, which is fine. But the problem is, is nobody wants him. And I'm not going to be stuck with him. Once I gave him, I gave him a 60-day notice to get my container cleaned out. So I can get it out of the mud. <clears throat> Once... That gets cleaned out. Then I'm going to probably give him his 90-day notice. He can put all of his crap in boat storage. I don't care. <clears throat> Not my problem anymore. <clears throat> my friend suggested me giving him the container. Because <clears throat> he claims it's his. But it's not. <clears throat> I've just been letting him store all of his crap in it for the last 10 years. <clears throat> and I actually kind of need it myself. So he can kiss my butt. He can go rent him a boat storage. It's only $150 a year. That's cheap. He can put all of his junk in there. I don't care. Not my problem. He done screwed me over one too many times. 
actually more than one too many times. I'm sick and tired of him. I'm sick and tired of his lies. I'm sick and tired of his manipulation. I'm sick and tired of his mooching. I'm sick and tired of his laziness. I'm sick and tired of his projection. Projecting his laziness onto me, acting like I don't do shit when it's actually him. <laughs> I outwork him tenfold. <clears throat> and I got witnesses to that. And I got video. Basically, nothing gets done when I'm on the road. Nothing. Hardly anything gets done. My mom is a witness. Other people are witnesses. Every time they come down here, it looks the same as it was or worse. Never better. <clears throat> Unless I've been here. Because I'm working. He used to actually do some stuff. Not very much. But he used to actually do some stuff. <sighs> Just like this chicken coop. I did most of it myself. <clears throat> With very little help. Sarah helped with a little bit. Uh, the first layer and then she quit. David helped with the roof. Oh, oh and the baseline. He helped come up with the baseline. Make sure it was level. And that was it. After that he pretty much just quit. Cindy helped with the foundation. But Cindy don't live here. It wasn't her problem or responsibility. But she came over here and helped. <clears throat> and uh, I pretty much done everything else. My mom held this up while I screwed it up and pounded it. But I'm waiting for her to come back down so I can get some more siding up. Because I know David ain't going to help me. Everybody in? I got to count you guys. Alright. <clears throat> How many chickens we got? One... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. <clears throat> no. Okay. So we got eighteen. Last time I counted, there was only seventeen. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Cool. All right. <clears throat> so the one that was missing the last time I was home came back. All right. And I still don't see no baby chickens. <clears throat> so they probably got eaten. Or they never existed. Like I said, David's a pathological liar. They probably never hatched. All right, chicken feeder should be going off soon. What time is it? Oh yeah, four minutes. Chicken feeder will go off. Should be good. All right. 